You know, the concept of a loop is a great idea. But as we know, the quickest way between two points is a straight line. And in the phase, my understanding is we want to start heading east as quickly as soon as possible. If we're looking at Fort Weaver and North South together, that just we're looking more regional in the interim first phase. But how do we address Eva Beach? We're going to talk at the next meeting about that. One big issue for us in Eva Beach is do we want the construction on Weaver Road? Because Fort Weaver Road right now is going through an improvement from two lanes to three lanes and now it's going to be from four to six lanes. And that will be completed in 2008. And then if we look at more construction through a rail, well, how will that impact the traffic? One option you may want to consider and think about, uh, in the newspaper a few days ago, Department of Home and Hawaiian Homelands, they, are, they have put out a request for bids for a shopping center that could rival the size of Ala Moana Shopping Center. In this area right here, just below UH Oahu, adjacent to their lands. This is HHL lands, this is their land here too. This would be an ideal place for the primary park and ride facility for our area because Kapolei is less than a mile away from the west. Eva Beach, well the Gentry and Eva Villages is less than a mile away from the east and to the south here where you have the Seiko building of 4,500 unit, you've got them coming up from the south. So this area could accommodate all three communities if we desire to use the north-south road as one option. Because logically, I believe, you want to connect the University of Hawaii, West Oahu, with UH Manoa. I think that's a natural connection many people have discussed. And, and if we can make the connection here, um, the economic impact of that will be tremendous for our community. It will be enormous. Um, 